We're Steam Radio, um, we're a community radio station based out of the Old Abbey Tap House in Hume, Manchester. We set up in 2020 uh, during the lockdown, kind of as a way to keep people connected while we were apart. Uh, it's a really nice way to like hear your mates' voices and share music together. And yeah, when it all started as well, it was kind of, there was a bit of a free-for-all on the pub's website and it ended up being that the only person who was still doing a regular show uh, was actually my dad, um, just like recording from home, uploading every week. So he asked if I could maybe get involved with the station. So yeah, I offered to help, um, picked it up as a little lockdown hobby. And now we have, about how many residencies now? Uh, about 55. All here to keep my dad company on the schedule. Um, <laughs> his show is called Ogle Man, it's very good. <laughs> my show is, well, it's just my name. So it's Watson, W-A-T-T-S-O-N. And I try and do lots of slow, dark, sounds. What I love about putting on radio that I think is one of the reasons that I wanted to get involved with it is you can put on the radio and you can listen for nine hours of a day and you can listen to nine separate hours of completely different things that you would have never heard anywhere else. So you have people like Hannah's dad listen to, listen to his show and playing tunes that if I was just going on Spotify or on SoundCloud or on YouTube looking for, I wouldn't come across ever. So like the Old Abbey Tap House is a bit of a weird spot. It's a pub during the day, a community hub as well. It's a social in, um, interest company, a social enterprise. So we host um, quite a few different charitable projects and community workshops, especially a lot of engagement with um, elder communities and the estates around Hume. Um, and that will kind of all happen through the day and then it will turn into a live music venue and a club by night. So it's a bit of a chaotic space and we're just one of the little elements of chaos that exist within it. I'd say we, we want it to continue to be a meeting place um, and a centre that a community can form around. Um, I think community radio is a really um, great way to bring people together who wouldn't have had um, things in common or, or wouldn't have thought that they had things in common before getting involved with the radio. So because we have the station, you can have people from all sorts of different backgrounds, different ages, races, uh, different classes. Well, yeah, I think I think that the, the benefit for STEAM to Manchester and to residents is it provides a really nice middle ground. Sounds like I'm talking down about the radio station, but there is obviously you have your big radio stations that, that are broadcasting nationally and internationally. But you have to be a successful DJ for six years to even get a, a shot, a, like a two times a year show. I think that one of the things that we provide is that we look at if we think a show is good <laughs> and if we think we like it, we air it. So it's not, it's, it's a really good middle ground between maybe student radio and the NTSs and the, and the rinses that I think that there is such a gaping hole in the radio community. Well, a challenge I faced at, at the beginning of this and in putting together the, the schedule in the first place was that a lot of the applications that we were getting through naturally just from social media call-outs um, were coming from the same group of people and generally it'd be the most confident, um, people with the most privilege at the beginning, so it was primarily white, male, middle class. So I um, needed to start thinking about why that was happening and how to expand the radio circle and also my own personal circle to reach uh, communities that uh, either weren't hearing the call outs or weren't seeing it as something that was for them. So I spent more time uh, really researching and trying to figure out where I could find more people um, from different demographics that would be interested in doing radio. Once you do start to diversify a community like that, it does become self-sustaining because um, people will see members of their own community being involved with the radio station and think, oh, well, that is a space for me because there are people like me over there. So yeah, I do think it's, it's really important to actively monitor um, diversity on a station and um, especially re realise uncomfortable things about um, how it might be already and what improvements need to be made because you can't get to the point that you need to be at if you're not willing to admit that there is an issue in the first place. So radio.co kind of sits at the centre of how we broadcast. It's um, the sort of middleman between our studio and um, the world for live shows. It's where we host all our pre-recorded shows and schedule them. 
alongside all the playlists that we run in the background like when we're not actually broadcasting live. So it's basically our whole back office. Playlisting is really useful. We're currently, well, I'm currently working on a way of if we get the right file names, then they're going automatically into the right playlists on the right dates. And then if all goes to plan, then, then we just have to check every now and again, make sure it's working. And then Radio Cove does the hard work for us. And when this first started during the um, lockdowns, I was still working in a cafe. And like when the social distancing and everything was was happening. So Steam Radio for a while was run off radio.co on my phone from like under a, under a till. So <laughs> yeah, that meant I, I could actually do everything remotely. <laughs> um, which yeah, was very, very useful when starting up. Follow us on Instagram um, for updates. So it's at Steam Radio MCR. And listen at www.steam-mcr.com. And just before you go, have you ever thought about launching your very own internet radio station? Surprisingly, it's a lot easier than you may think, especially when you make the time to chat to myself or a member of the Radio.co team. To do just that, head to our website, radio.co forward slash demo, where I can talk about your plans, any questions you may have, and you know, me and the team can really get you up to speed in launching your own internet radio station in literally minutes. It couldn't be easier. Why not check out some of our webinars, tutorials, help guides situated uh, around me? Or why not visit our website, radio.co, or even drop me an email, studio at radio.co. Until next time, take care and happy broadcasting.